Hey guys, I'm Call One back with another Transformers video. Today I've got Transformers Prime Voyager Class Power Riser Ultra Magnus. So he's, you know, very Magnusy here. Let me go ahead and bring in my Film Noir Spider Man. We'll bring over a soda can. I've got Scourge. And, uh, uh oh. I forgotten to retransform him after the last time I used him. Um, so as you can see, this is Ultra Magnus Care came out in like 2014, I want to say, and like so, he he holds up pretty good in size compared to a modern day Voyager, and he was an awful lot cheaper for Voyager back then. Also, uh, let's go ahead and bring in the Ultra other Ultra Magni. Okay, so I've got the. Uh, the Transformers Cybertron Le Le Legends Scale Ultra Magnus. I've got Transformers Prime Voyager Scale Ultra Magnus. The Fall of Cybertron Deluxe Scale Ultra Magnus. And the Leader Class War for Cybertron Siege Sneak Peek Hidden Edition. Whatever came in that weird gray box. And he came with a Target Master and he came with Energon Cubes. That's that's all the Ultra Magni together. It's kind of cool seeing them all side by side, right? So the Power Razors really was mech tech weapons again. And some of the Power Riser weapons made sense. Some of them not so much. Like the Power Riser weapon on on uh what was his name? Uh, Thundertron didn't really make much sense, but his Power Riser weapon is actually pretty cool. So I have pulled the battery out. Otherwise, there is a little light bulb right up inside here that is supposed to make it all light up. It doesn't light up very well. It barely glows, but like any mech tech weapon, it transforms and they have the little locking pin here. So you can lock it out in his big old Magnus Hammer mode and... I wouldn't recommend, but you can put his hands on these pieces here. But because they're clear plastic and like tied in with the spring system, you really don't want to mess with those. But you'll still have the nice long shaft here, giggity, a short little one back here, a couple of side mount ones, and another one here. So overall, different ways to hold this weapon. Very, very cool. And you go ahead and undo that tab, and it reverts back to its heavy machine gun mode. Now, is this supposed to be some type of sensor package or mounted missile unit? It's whatever you want it to be. And it's cool is that he's got recoil action. Ta -ta -ba 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 -ba. Magnus himself. I did add in the silver paint and the red and the different red here and there. And these missiles um, can be turned around however you want. But these, I want to say came off of an Iron Man crossover transformer. Those are not stock. I added those and I keep them on there. This is the missile he comes normally packaged with, which kind of, it's a nice missile. You really should have given him two because you're gonna want to put him on the shoulders. It's all right though. Uh, he's got nice, clean, powerful, strong lines. He's got a minimalistic backpack. I mean, yeah, that is the entire roof of his vehicle mode, but like, it's not that bad. Um. He's got plenty of Autobot logos on him. There's a lot of clear plastic that I am kind of worried about because it's clear plastic ratchets in here and clear plastic ball joint sockets here. And like, you can always already see a little bit of stressing on there, but it's, it's holding up all right. There is a lot of clear plastic in behind his chest and all that also. Even this right here is, is, is clear plastic. And, like, I think at some point you're supposed to stick, like, a light on his back. And, like, look at all that clear plastic up in there. Can you see all that? And that's all weight-bearing. So, like, he's holding up pine so far, but, like, he's a ticking time bomb almost. So, be gentle with him. Don't roughhouse him too much. Articulation-wise, he's got a great head sculpt. It's very, very much so a, a Magnus head sculpt. He's got the bull joint in the neck. And, again... All, uh, all clear plastic. 
He's got these butterfly joints that really is more for transformation. Ball jointed shoulder, a swivel at the shoulder. Now the shoulder armor is attached right to the shoulder, but you can kind of swivel it around a little bit. So that's kind of nice. He's got those, can you hear that ratchet? That's a nice ratchet. He's got those ratcheted elbows. He's got ball jointed wrists. He's got a very nice waist swivel. Ball jointed hips. Thigh swivel. Decent knee bend. Nothing at the feet except for the toesies. And that is really more for transformation. Speaking of transformation. Let's go ahead and fold back these panels on his legs. Then swivel them down. And then they're going to tab into place alongside the foot and bring down the toe and this little red bits here and there i added so bring down the toe bring down the side panel and tab that into place we're then going to take the legs there's a tab on one leg and tab on the other but beforehand he has a a um trailer mount in both legs you're only going to need one of them but it's nice to see that he's got two of them and i have yet to see any third party or official thing but like a trailer for this guy would be kind of nice. And you can have both of those peg things out at the same time if you want to. So bring everything forward like this onto his knees. Bring his backpack up a bit. And his head is going to kind of just lean forward as you fold this gray bit down. His arms. His arms are where the majority of his transformation take place, actually. You're going to fold... Those panels out, and they're going to strain up the shoulders to line up alongside the panels, you see? And the hands need to turn inward. So, open up the panel on the inside of the arm, fold in the hands, straighten the arm out, and line it up with the shoulder bits. And then using those butterfly joints, you're going to bring everything down inside here. And we need to sneak those missile shoulders underneath the cab and that's the transformation right there now we just gotta get in here and tab things together we got a tab here and a tab there we've got tabs up here and then we've got tabs down here that need to get lined up and there we have ultra magnus in his magnus truck mode we're going to put that on there we're going to mount his artillery. That's just cool. And we're going to roll on out for now. Okay, so here we have the Cyber Planet Key Ultra Magnus. We have the Transformers Prime Ultra Magnus. We got the War for Cybertron, full of Cybertron Ultra Magnus. And here is the Leader Class... Um, War for Cybertron Siege Ultra Magnus and yeah we've got the, the Legend scale down here with the Deluxe scale, Voyager scale and Leader scale and like you can really see how they drastically changed the style of, of, of uh, Ultra Magnus you know <clears throat> he was obviously at one point just a redeco of Optimus Prime but he does occasionally get his own roundup unique look so yeah, um, Ultra Magnus here, very much so an Ultra Magnus style vehicle. Let me go ahead and stand him up. Oh, I can actually, there we go, flip out his feet. And we can stand him next to Film Noir Spider-Man. We can get him next to Soda Can. We can bring in the Siege guys. Go ahead and leave the uh, barricade car mode on the screen for right now. There he is next to Magnus. There he is. And there is Hubcap. So Magnus in vehicle mode scales pretty well with, with even modern day vehicle guys. <clears throat> He's got nice silver paint and like he hides everything fairly well. Except for the undercarriage where he's just scrunched up underneath there. And I like how the clear plastic is 
not really directly involved in the transformation, so that is something to like, okay, that's kind of nice. The uh, weapons mounting system is good. You got some peg ports on the side here. Those are the same ones that he had in robot mode. And you have a peg port up there on the missile. And, you know, just all around, it's a really good figure. I'm not sure what he's going for on eBay right now. But he was like 20 bucks back in the day. And I'm pretty sure in box, he's at least 60 bucks and up. Good condition. I actually... I, 30 40 bucks for this guy wouldn't be a too bad of a price because he is going on like 10 15 years old right now He's still a good figure. He holds up really well Like a reissue of this exact same mold might be kind of nice But I know they're not gonna do that and I hope that if they do a legacy version of him. I really Really hope they're gentle, but they probably won't be um, I'm Colin. This has been Transformers Prime Voyager class Power Razor Ultra Magnus all around a good figure. I enjoy it. And if you can get one for a good price, I can highly, highly recommend this guy. Thank you for watching.